from Yellow Gazebo Natural Healthcare in Toronto. We're located at 804 St. Clair Avenue West. I'm a registered acupuncturist and traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. And I'm here today with our manual osteopath, Nazanin Eshki Monkadam. Uh, so Naz, today we're gonna to talk about osteopathy and concussions. Yeah. Correct. Uh, so why don't you start by telling me maybe how, like tell me about concussions. What is a concussion? Uh, concussion is like any movement to the brain that mm -hmm. is really fast mm -hmm. and then kind of the, the acceleration or deceleration, it goes up and down. And the, the brain is really soft, right? yeah, like a jelly-like like material, yeah. yeah. And it's surrounded in a uh, cerebrospinal fluid, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, when it goes like really in front and it goes back, it gets a little bit of the connection between the axon and the dendrites, like all going, oh gosh, So right? concussion actually Some affects people. neural ability. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So the thing is, uh, some people get like vision impairment, some people get it like in their, they get nauseous, they get like uh, vertigo, dizziness, and this kind of thing. Okay. It also has like a, a long-term effect, like a cognitive long-term effect, mm -hmm. which is like a, a memory loss, or some people get like a, they can't con like concentrate on something. These mm -hmm. are as a result of the concussion they had before. They might come from like an accident or like uh, falling down in their brain, mm -hmm. that that way the cranial bones get li like really tight to each other. The so bones, you can, uh, and an, as an osteopath, you can like actually can feel, feel that. Like, yeah, we can actually feel that if any of the, the bones, like if it's a frontal bone or whatever bones in the cr cranial, it, it might get like really tight. And how, the, in it. how do you use osteopathy to treat a concussion, to treat the, the bone? Yeah, we actually have to feel which bone is that first, then after that we need to release that uh, pressure from it. So uh, after releasing the pressure, we need to make sure the spine has the alignment for the cerebrospinal fluid to go up and down, and then has have its own rhythm. Right. right, osteopathy deals with the, the cerebrospinal fluid and the flow, right? Yeah. How do you align that? Like, what are you doing exactly? Uh, first, we need to assess and then examine which, um, which uh, spine. If the concussion mostly happens in the uh, upper thoracic bones and neck mm -hmm. and also the, the cranial bones, right? right? So we need to feel which one is not aligned first. Sometimes it has like a rotation, uh, or it gets really tight. It has like a flexion or whatever, like that happens in the spine and the, the bones itself, the cranial bones itself. That way, after that, we need to release that bone. And then with slight movements, we need to get that all released. And how so, many treatments does this take? Uh, it depends, but normally, like on average, it's between like three to four oh. and up. It okay. depends on oh, the so degree of so at least three or four, but maybe, yeah. maybe more exactly. than that. Okay, it depends on the degree of concussion. Mm -hmm. right. We also work in the sacrum area as well, because mm -hmm. sacrum is the, the bone that pumps up all the cerebrospinal fluid to go up to the brain, and then come back, right? right? We need to see if the rhythm is correct, if the magnitude of that is correct or not, mm -hmm. then we work on like the whole spine. Basically the, the brain and the spinal cord. It has to get the, the movement of the cervical spinal cord all fixed in there. Okay, great. Uh, well, thank you. Um, is there anything else anyone, uh, people should know about uh, concussions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were the, the mostly the signs and symptoms and all the treatment. We it's it's really like up to the person how they got it. Some people have it like in their neck mostly. Some people have it there in their uh, like the cranial bones. So we need to see it, and it depends on the person. Mm -hmm. I can generalize everything, but this is how. It goes. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Thanks, Naz. Mm -hmm. So, if you'd like a consultation with Nazanin, you can uh, come in for a quick 15, uh, 20 minutes. Um, free or if consultation. You, yeah, a free consultation. 
Or you can talk to her over the phone, I imagine, if that's easier for you. Email, right? Yeah. All right, great. So uh, we'll have all the information on how to contact Nazanin uh, following the video. Uh, again, we're located at 804 uh, St. Clair Avenue West here in Toronto. And uh, thanks again, Naz. Thank you. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you.